This is the part 2 of the herpes simplex virus infection. So for introduction, herpes simplex virus infection, especially the serotype HHV2, accounts for 90% of the primary genital herpes cases and also accounts for 70-85% to of neonatal herpes. So the transmission is can be through ascending infection, which is acquired from the mother with reactivated infection. But this one is rare, it is less than 5% among the cases. And another route of transmission to the neonate is through the passage through birth canal during delivery, where the mother has active genital herpes. And the clinical features for herpes simplex virus infection in infants, they are usually normal at birth and only symptomatic at day 5 to day 10 of life. And there is disseminated disease with multi-organ involvement, mostly in the liver, lung, or localized infection to the skin, eyes, and mouth, usually within the first week of life in the infant. And this herpes simplex virus infection is considered in any infants who are having fever, sepsis, liver dysfunction, irritability, and when the bacteriologic cultures are negative, and there is abnormal cerebrospinal fluid findings, and also if the infant is having seizures. And skin lesions are late findings of herpes simplex virus infection. And this infection, the condition is often severe, and a delay in treatment can cause significant morbidity and mortality in the infants. For investigation of HSV infection, we can obtain viral culture from any skin vesicle, nasopharynx, the eyes, urine, blood, CSF, or even the stool. And if the pos there is positive culture more than 48 hours after birth, it indicates intrapartum exposure to the virus. We can also do polymerase chain reaction, which is sensitive to detect HSV DNA in blood, urine, or cerebrospinal fluid. For treatment of HSV infection, we can give parenteral acyclovir, which is used for neonatal HSV infections. And also, if the mother has active genital herpes when she is going into labor, it is indicated to do elective lower segment caesarean section to prevent transmission of herpes simplex virus to the infant. That's all for my video. Thank you.